Morning subscribers, it's Joanna here. I'm talking today about how to lose weight on a detox astringent fruit diet. I've been doing this for eight weeks now and I've dropped approximately three dress sizes. So first, I thought I'd show you how I look now. Here we go. <laughs> I've got my little runway behind me. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I don't know if that shows you very much. It's just me being silly in front of the camera. Um, but uh, I've lost a lot of weight around my chest. I've My bum is much, much flatter than it was. It used to be much more curvy and rounded. Now it's all gone, which is slightly disappointing. I quite liked my big bum. Um, yeah, all sorts has changed. Uh, thickness wise my face has changed it's kind of a bit more angular and bony sometimes I don't really recognize my face in front of the mirror is that you Joe? really <laughs> so um I didn't do this diet to lose weight um I lost it to heal from uh this unknown illness that I have and I might find out today actually um from a Lyme specialist in Germany if I have limes um which is rather exciting um but yeah, it's, it's changed an awful lot of things, not just the size of my body. So I thought I'd talk to you a bit about how I did it. Um, so the way I like to start my mornings is to have, this is actually five oranges that I squeezed and one whole lemon, which I squeezed as well. And that's how I like to have breakfast. Because the citrus fruits are the most astringent fruits that you can have. So it really gets pulling the lymph and getting the system working. And it's so delicious, I want more. Mm. I love the lemon in there. I'm getting quite addicted to lemon. I put it on everything. It's so yummy. Um, and the other thing I've been eating an awful lot is watermelons and any kind of melon really that I can get my hand on that's ripe. Um, at the moment it's summer in France, so peaches, nectarines, apricots, um, and it's super delicious. Sometimes I have apples, but they're not in season and my body doesn't seem to be wanting them so much and they're not as astringent anyway, so it doesn't matter if I stay clear of them more. Um, the fruits that are out are, um, Sweet fruits like banana and dates, uh, they don't pull the lymph and they don't help you to detox in any way. So I'm not having those. But sometimes um, I might have a banana and ice cream with strawberry in or something like that as a kind of treat just because it's yummy and cold when it's boiling hot outside. Um, so yeah, I was about a size 10, 12 on top. And around my hip waist area, I was a size 12. Um, and I suppose a year ago, I was more like 12, 14. Um, and yeah, when I was in England recently, I was able to put a skirt on that was a size six, which I've never done in my life before. So this is kind of my alkaline body. And um, the detox specialist, Eileen Duran, who I've been reading lots of her blogs, says that's the first thing that people notice when detoxing is um, losing weight. So transition is really important. And I've already, I've been raw for two years in the past and I generally eat quite a lot of raw food anyway so I felt like going quite quickly into the fruit only diet was going to be okay for me um, and I did notice some detox symptoms like for example after two weeks I started getting whitehead like under my nose and around this here and like weird kind of hard they weren't really spots because they weren't whiteheads or blackheads but they were like hard lumps coming up in my skin um, and also at the beginning, um, I had a lot of diarrhea, which isn't good when you're detoxing and you shouldn't have too much of that. So I kind of, after two, two and a half weeks, I, um, had a couple of non-fruit meals and maybe one meal that was a bit cooked, um, just to kind of slow things down a bit with the detoxing. 
and, and then I revved back up again to 100% fruit. And then from that point onwards, I've been fine and I haven't had any diarrhea. So that's really good. What else did I wanted to say? Um, so sometimes my cheat meals, which I'm kind of cheating quite a bit at the moment because I know that my detox um, protocol hasn't happened, hasn't actually started yet. I haven't had my first consultation with Eileen Duran. Um, and I feel like now's the moment if I, if I want to cheat, I should do it now. But it's, um, it's not what most of you would think as cheating. So my cheating is going around my garden, picking loads of dandelions and any green things that I can eat in my veggie patch. Um, having um, a whole avocado chopped up into it, which is um, a healthy fat, which um, doesn't reverse detox, it just slows it down a lot because um, your, your, your body breaks down fat in a completely different way than astringent fruits. Um, and um, yeah, I'll have some chopped tomatoes, maybe, um, oh, what's it called? When you, when you mash up avocado with banana, uh, I've forgotten the name of it, guacamole, yeah, that's the one, I love guacamole. So I might put a bit of garlic in. Um, and I made a lovely dressing out of lots of lemon, coconut oil, um, a bit of salt and pepper, and this really nice spice from Western France, really yummy, I can't remember the name of it. I'm having a bit of seaweed, which is very salty, and just feel like, you know, getting in a bit of iodine. Cucumber, um, so yeah, keeping it really light and green and a bit of fat, but I'm not putting in any protein because protein does reverse detoxing. So it is acid forming rather than alkaline forming. Um, also no starch. So I've really been keeping away from that. So no potatoes, no sweet potatoes, no parsnips. Um, and really trying to keep away from cooked food. But my really, my really naughty cheats have been fries or chips. Sometimes I've had some of those, maybe twice or three times. And lately I've actually told my family, if you're going to have them, have them way away from me so I can't see you eating them because <laughs> they smell good and I do like them and I do miss them. And I'm like, oh, I want some, I want some. Uh, so yeah, that, that technique's worked quite well lately. <laughs> um, and also I, I, gave, I wrote myself a little saying, it came to be in my mind, um, something like, um, every mouthful you take can either heal or harm. So I have that in my mind. Do I want to heal myself or do I want to harm myself? I want to heal. And actually I've done an awful lot of healing um, from what I've gone through so far. So I need to keep it up because I'm doing so much better than I was even like a week ago. I'm doing loads better. Um, um, um. So yeah, don't just necessarily do what I'm doing because it sounds like a good idea and I've lost lots of weight because um, if you're like on a standard American diet and you do eat lots of protein and maybe meat and dairy and things, you will have to transition in a very different way than I have. Um, yeah, and it's, it's really important that you do that properly. So don't just take my advice. Um, I've, I'm doing this after a lot of research and I feel like, you know, it's okay for me to do that because of the way I was eating before. Um, so yeah, my ultimate detox healing protocol um, will be starting very soon. Um, I'll be taking lots of herbal, herbal remedies um, to really clean out um, my intestines and bowel, um, to get my kidneys working really well. I'm having, still having, especially in, in the evenings, a lot of kidney and bladder pain, especially if I'm overdoing it physically. Um, lots of kind of backache in my mid to lower back. Um, so yeah, there's, there's an awful lot going on that we can see in the iris of the eyes, um, that needs to be worked on properly with a specialist. Um, so I'll keep you posted on how that goes and what I learn and, um, yeah, what happens next on this detox journey. And I'm going to do another video now, which you'll see in a moment. Please subscribe, comment below and do the like buttons. <laughs> and I'll see you soon. Bye.